your boy. You know what? Just- <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Let's- <laughs> Your boy, uh, People are like, stop yelling in my ear. <laughs> Lil John, I know this why he's on the, is listening to the earplugs. Yeah, someone's listening like, to Fuck, God damn, Sharif. I apologize. Yeah. That, <laughs> fucking guy in the fucking subway oh, in New York. Yeah. He's like, fuck! <laughs> I just made someone deaf. I'm sorry. Even a fucking one star review. Fuck these guys. Um, your boy, Lil John, has released some new heat. Uh, it's called Alive. Uh, he's happy to be alive. On, on this new track. And it's featuring Offset and 2 Chains. Mm-hmm. As I'm listening to the track, I'm going, I think we're ready for a new Lil John album. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just how I feel. I feel like we're, it's, it's, it's I about agree. time. You I know agree. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's been, it's been too long. Well, fuck. We're from the South, man. So we, you know, we have some Southern bias on things. Some people, I, I, listen, when I used to talk to, uh, Nails and, and, and Lack, they were, they, they never even, Heard Lil John albums. Oh shit! Right, they were like against that shit. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? Because it's just different. It was They're against Crunk. Nah, Crunk you know music. Lil John. Lil John was like he wasn't really a rapper. He was just nah, a producer. The that, East Side Boys were the rappers. Yeah. I got that one G O White. I got two G O White. I got three G O White. I ate ball for the night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, but not nah, like you know they were they were. I won't say completely against it, but that's that's not something they were checking for. Yeah, they're from Detroit, so I, I, you know what I'm saying. I can see, I can see that. Like, there's a lot of people that just ain't ain't into that. Like when they're when they're trying to get to listen to hip hop, right. they're not looking looking to listen to someone repeat the same thing mm-hmm. and make it like a hype song, club song, you know, crunk song. You know? Right. Yeah. I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed it because I was had, a big fan of Lil Jon because he had plenty of rap artists on his shit. Right. You know that plenty. was the rapping. That's why I enjoy it because he oh, gets the hey, features. Oh, hey, and me, and me, represent him. And it was nothing, right. it was like, almost like, it was nothing like hearing the artist you like hearing spitting on the Lil John Eastside Boy beat, like Lil John beat, you know? Right. Like, dope ass beat and then, you know, artists spitting on it, like the dope artists of the time. The Southern artists too. Yeah, there so, was T.I., yeah. there was Ludacris, Ludacris uh, 36 Mafia. 36. There was, like, there was, Everybody, everybody. Yeah. Pastor Troy. Fuck, hell yeah. A lot of Atlanta dudes on there too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's other people. Yeah, Jada Kiss on uh, Lil John East. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. That, that yeah. Was. yeah. <laughs> Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Yeah, you remember Grand Finale? Some remixes and shit that right. other artists uh, too yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was those Grand those was dope. Grand Finale was dope. Fuck, there's yeah. still a lot of talk about who went the hardest on that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, we may have to make that a topic sometime. We, we may have to make that a topic. Yeah. yeah we might do that next, it, next bring episode. Bring that shit back. Yeah. All right. Uh, but, uh, no, man, what you think of the new song from, from Lil Jon, though? I almost feel like he, he still, he ain't missed a step. Like, he right. still got it. That's why I don't understand, like, why he wouldn't do it. Like, why he hasn't kept doing it. I, I mean, it's a lot of I stuff, guess, man. Yeah. He's doing a bunch Industry of other stuff. Re- yeah. And but you know, turning into other shit, too. I mean, yeah. <laughs> About to be the Papa John. We, we have the Papa John. He's the P- Papa John spokesman, you know, and he's over here making an little album Papa now. John's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eat Papa John's. Okay. Uh, right. I tell you what, the first commercial is going to be some wild like that with him. Right. Of course, of course, it is. It's going to be like it's going to be over the top. It's going to be way over the top. Everybody's going to believe the fucking camera. Like for real, dog. You like, know what I'm saying? Damn. I want what some I, Papa John's. What I've heard though, man, you know what's real crazy? He still. Let me tell you something. I think we went down to South by Southwest. Yeah. Hey, you can, you can, all these little new rappers that y'all like, mm-hmm. they might fill out the, they might fill out the, the venue. Yeah. Lil John is sold out. Yeah. I'll everywhere, die. everywhere that he go, that bitch is sold out to this day. He mm-hmm. ain't got, he ain't really got, he ain't had no hits new, in a minute. New Except for the, shit. He, turned down for what? But they want it, but they want to hear all his old shit still. Yeah. He still sells out. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Same with Snoop Dogg. He was he was performing yeah, in South by Southwest on the on the on the uh, on the on the building. Yeah. Uh, one year, a couple years ago, and it sold out. Sold the fuck out. You couldn't get in there. It's a legend. You know what I'm saying? Snoop. Yeah. You know, people want to hear. People want to be like, I was there. Right. Yeah. So you know, of course, I think that Lil John is gone. I just want to hear some of the collabs that he'll put together and some yeah, of the beats that he'll make. He, he always when he when he does shit, he always puts people together that kind of like you wouldn't hear them together anywhere else. Right. And you wouldn't have imagined them. Doing a track together. Right. And he'll do that sometimes on tracks, you know what I'm saying? Speaking so. of which, there's a new song out from Meek Mill and Jordan Lucas, which 
was a collab that I was didn't, not. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming either, man. And um, wow. it's actually pretty fucking fire. Fuck yeah. I think it was a leak, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think maybe Jordan Lucas said something about this on Twitter. I don't, I don't know the details of it, but I believe that this was a leak. Because it, it didn't, it, it was, it sounded more like a Jordan Lucas song. Because I think Jordan Lucas was on there a lot, a lot more, more. Yeah, yeah. than Meek Mill. They had like two verses. Yeah, I really was not expecting this collaboration. And it came out actually Damn, pretty fire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. That shit went hard. Yeah. I mean, fucking Joyner. Right now, the way I see it, anything he's touching, he's about to, he's gonna kill it. He, he's on a mission. Right. He's hungry. But you know, the way that it was done, uh, for Meek Mill, uh, <clears throat> it didn't really like it. You know, like sometimes you hit two guys on the song and you're like, oh, this motherfucker killed him. Like, you just need to get the fuck off the song. It wasn't like that. I feel like Meek Mill did his thing. It oh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a big part of the song yeah, yeah. the same way Jordan Lucas. Yeah. Not to say they're on the same level lyrically. But yeah. just like the energy and everything that was brought to it was yeah. well, shit, Meek very Mill always, br- yeah. Meek Mill always br- brings energy to it. Sometimes shit. too much energy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can say that definitely. And you're like, you don't need that much on this right, track. Right, like, sometimes right. he's overdoing it. Right. But you know, he always has that energy. You right. know, so and Joyner Lucas is one to, is known to have that energy also. So yeah, it was a good collab that yeah I did not see coming. Yeah, I didn't see it coming, which it's it's actually making me wonder. uh what Johnny Lucas' album is going to sound like, My and goodness. what what he's got in the bag. He's got some, he's he's if this is a leak, for whatever reason that it leaked, uh, I wonder what else he's he's got back that he's got cooking up. Whatever that bag is, it's labeled the future. No, like, whoa, hot take, hot take, hot take, hot take. Now I'll play. I don't even know that. I fuck with you. Yeah, I believe that he's the future. Yeah, too. I don't. Yeah, I would say I don't even know if that's a hot take. People mm-hmm. are probably listening. Like, of course he is. Look like, out, Kendrick. Like. But the thing is, we we kind of agree Kendrick is kind of elevated right. to another level himself. So, yeah, I mean, after listening really... after listening to King's Dead, I was like, oh yeah, Kendrick's on a different level. Yeah, definitely He's on a different level. So uh, I can't even even right now, Jordan Lucas at his tip top is not really touching Kendrick. Nah, you know, still what I'm not. Saying? I, it's a, I still don't it's think a, so either. It's got a way far lead. Not to yeah. say that you know Jordan Lucas, but Kendrick has a has a really really really. <laughs> Space style lead yeah. on everybody. Oh, he does. You know what I'm saying? Lyrically. I mean, and just music wise. He's everywhere. I mean, right. he's doing the Black Panther shit. You know, his albums. I just mean, won all these Butterfly, fucking Grammys. Got, damn, got. I mean, he's doing shit. I mean, he's fucking. He's kind of elevated to that next level himself to where it's like, where Jordan Lucas is gonna, is get, is pretty much getting to that level where, where Kendrick was. Kendrick's like, well, I already, I already kind of elevated to the next yeah, one. Did that. Yeah, I did that. I'm over here now. Like, I'm actually, that's your next move. What the hell is Joyner. Kendrick going to do yeah. next, yeah. number one? And what the hell is Joyner going to do this year? That's the real question. I will be honest with you, and this is the hot take, that that is the most anticipated album that I'm waiting to hear is Joyner Lucas. Joyner Lucas? Of this year. Like, I'm wa- that is the most anticipated He's number two for me, for me, but I I dig it. I can. He's definitely he's number one for you. Uh, you know me. I'm Lupe Fiasco Lupe, fan yeah. all day. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm, I'm looking for Joyner, and then uh, Lupe is my number two. Right. Yeah. I, I got to go with Lupe because... I should have known. Should have known. Yeah. yeah. Known I'm, just, I'm just, a, you know, I'm a, I'm a Lupe stan. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I enjoy Lupe myself, but... Join, right you're now, a joiner Joyner, right now. Joiner, the way he 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 stepped on the scene, it's like, oh shit, right? And the way he's spitting and just shit there's some people that you you know you you, you can see that they're gonna like make their way up. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. kind of see. And Joyner is he's that he's one of those guys. He's definitely one of them guys. Yeah, most definitely. Hopefully, hopefully he changes the game for the better. Where it's like he can bring that aspect to the game back into the spotlight. That's what I'm hoping because Kendrick's there, and now if we get more people that are doing it, we got. Joyner Lucas, and then we get another and another people who are like that. Going. They can definitely take shift the game back to that as right. being the most popular and most uh, glorified hip hop in the game because that's what it needs to be more glorified. People who are really, really what well, they are though. Work and I mean they are, but they're also the, on the back burner the, of the, the top of the young group. The top wait wait wait, wait. the top the top rappers in the game that sell the most records. No, well yeah, are the dope artists. That it's not, artist, but I, it, little, okay. You got people that chart. Yes, Lil Pump charts. That's what I'm talking about. Pop, right? that, that's what I'm saying. Is but I'm comparing it to that. Whenever the album drops, that shit ain't selling like no more. Oh, it ain't cold. Selling. Oh, it ain't. It ain't. And it ain't. It, it ain't, ain't breaking records. Right. And it ain't going. Cold may not be charting though. Yeah. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm trying to say? Like oh, the, I see exactly the great, what you're the, the, the the like the like the real 
shit. Yeah. It's always on it's top. It's always on top. Always. But it's on top, but then, like, for, like the in-between moments is where it is. Like, these are the fillers, like, the, the, the charts, right. like, the billboard charts. Those are the fillers of, like, what gets popular in between right. what's big off top. That's, you know, I mean, that's, that's, that's balance. Yeah. I mean, I see yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? Those charts sometimes deserve to be held by some of these artists. All these that, guys? Yeah. Well, not All just, of them? Well, the top ten? Well, <laughs> they, <laughs> you can put tracks to compare to these tracks. You're like, why isn't this one in there when you this can't, is there? Like, you can't, you can't have that many popularity. You can't have that many popularity. It's popular, like, but you can't have that many juggernaut dropping at the same time. Yeah. You see how like Kendrick is kind of starting to die down. Yeah. He's getting his Grammys, his awards for all his work that he did, oh, yeah. and all of a sudden, fucking Drake drops a fucking Spotify fucking breaker. Yeah, record breaker. He did, yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? It's just crazy. It's about to be. It's about to be moving into Drake. Knows, know, he pulled all the way back from that shit. I really didn't know if that was going to be a breaker, and it ended up being one. It, it did. It yeah. ended up being a breaker, right? That's what yeah. I'm saying. So, like, it, you can't. You won't see a time when you see the juggernauts go because it's <laughs> nobody wants to lose out on that. You need to like take it and own that whole time period. Man. You know what I'm saying? And if we put all the juggernauts out at the same time, <laughs> somebody might lose. We just, <laughs> somebody might lose big. You know what I'm saying? They get washed forever. Well, you know what I'm saying? Let's be real. That does happen. Let's that does happen. Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick, Kanye West all drop an album at the same time. Oh, somebody's shit. getting somebody's Someone's getting real. fucking washed. Yeah, bro. that is happening. That is and happening. somebody's somebody's career is dead, bro. Let's just be Never real. the same. Never the same. Well see, I don't want them to drop at the same time. I want them to be consistent, but you know, have something dope always in the in spotlight. The I feel you. You know feel what I'm saying? You. Like, because... You could spread it out and have that all year, where you know what I'm saying at times it doesn't happen like because it's more a little closer, and then you get in the in between where it's like, what the fuck is this? Right, like to me at least, and you know it's popular to other people, but I'm talking about like when it should be on top. Even at that time, there's shit, there's shit that should be higher, held to a higher standard than what's on top. Right, but it's just more I guess underground or just not as praised because people just don't know who they are, or just whatever, just not as popular. You. It should be that way, but it doesn't end up that way because the world doesn't revolve around me. But Chris Stapleton always wins. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Stapleton. Straight up. 